This is the Fender Player Series Telecaster in a lefty. It's exactly the same if you're a righty. Let's get into it. G'day folks, this is Shay and you were listening to the Fender Player Series Telecaster. Let's take a look. Here's the guitar up close. Now this is everything you probably love about a Telecaster. Two single coil pickups, a volume control, a tone control, and a three-way toggle switch. So no bells and whistles on this one. Notice there's no ashtray here. I actually kind of prefer this. It's a little bit more comfortable to play. You're not going to bash your hand into the raised part that would usually come up off this particular section here. So I think it looks really good. And this color black looks amazing, minus all the refle reflections and also all of my fingerprints that you'll get on it. In terms of the headstock and tuners, we get a conventional tally shape, which is great, obviously. And we get string through tuners. So these aren't the vintage ones where the string goes in the top. These are just your conventional ones, as per most of the Mexican series. Now in terms of the neck shape and feel, it's a modern C, so if you're into that from Fender, you'll definitely get a kick out of how this plays. No doubt about it, it just feels like any great Telecaster. I have to tell you, I think the neck pickup on this particular guitar is a bit of an upgrade over some of the Mexican standard ones that I've played in previous years. So all in all, this neck pickup rocks. Now in terms of weight, it's actually slightly lighter than my old 52 reissue Telecaster, so that's a good thing as well, my 52 Tele. Weighs an absolute metric ton for a Telecaster. It's just a big slab of wood, as is this, but it's slightly lighter, so that's always a good thing as well. Now, you're going to see a lot of reflections off my lights and lamps. Every time I move, you're going to see something sort of coming back at the camera. It's a little unavoidable with a black guitar, but I'm going to try my best to not make it too distracting. A massive thanks to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia for letting me borrow this for the video. I really appreciate it. If you live in Australia, check out the links to Sky Music in the description below. If you live overseas in the United States, I'll post some Sweetwater links down there as well to help support the channel. Thanks again. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off. I'm plugged into the Kemper Profiling Amp using a profile I just made of the Fender Bass Breaker 30R amplifier on the clean channel. Then we'll try some dirty tones in a minute. This is Neck Pickup. And now over to both pickups, which is great for that kind of funk style stuff. Yeah. And over to bridge, let's give this a go. And now over to the drive channel of the Fender Bass Breaker 30R. Let's try some chord stuff. Over to both pickups, let's try some lead. Super spanky. Mm. 
and over to bridge. <laughs> Nice and responsive, you pick soft, it cleans up beautifully, you pick hard, it really goes for it. And now over to the higher gain stage of the Fender bass break of 30R and I'm on the bridge pickup with a little bit of delay as well. <laughs> Over to the neck. And over to both. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. So what do I think of this guitar overall? I think it's great. Not only does it look awesome, I love the whole black tally thing. I think it looks fantastic. It just plays great. I haven't done anything to it. I tuned it up well, a couple times just to get the strings going a little bit, and then it was fine and it played awesome. So yeah, it just feels like a great telecast. I really feel like this neck pickup is an upgrade over other Mexican standards I've played in the past. They're not a bad neck pickup in older models, but I feel like this just has a little bit more bite about it, which is something some of them have lacked to my ear. So overall, this might be one of the better sort of uh, tallies around this price from any brand. I think it looks pretty good. If you're looking for a Fender, it'd be a no-brainer if you don't want to spend the sort of money on a US-made one. You're not really going to get too much more for your money getting the American series over, you know, the player series, which are out of Mexico. So overall, this is a really nice guitar. You could do gigs with this, you could record with it, all that kind of stuff. There'd be nothing to stop you from doing that. I just think it looks great. This black is really awesome. I love the little bit of white around the pick guard here as well. Very cool. A massive thanks again to Sky Music for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. If you live in Australia, check them out. All the links will be in the description as well as some Sweetwater links to the US. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and click the bell for video notifications. Oh,